Well, we are certainly living in the future, and it seems like everything we know and love has gone digital, including our music, photography, videography, movies, and television, even our currency and NFTs, whatever the heck that is. And I am now here to tell you that even our beloved press pennies have gone digital. Let's get things rolling. First, I do just want to confirm that yes, this is absolutely something you're going to be able to do. It's not just a clickbaity title I put in here to try to get you to watch this week's video, and I promise I'll get into all the details very soon. I do just want to mention that this is probably not going to work the way you're imagining. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to go to any of your favorite roadside attractions, zoos and aquariums, or any local theme parks or even Disney and Universal to collect their designs digitally. Although, to be honest, if Disney implemented something like that, I think that would kind of be a cool little interactive game you could have going around collecting the coins digitally, but Disney, do not get rid of our physical machines. I would much rather have physical machines and coins in hand than any sort of digital option. But what we're gonna go over today is still Disney related. And what you're gonna need to do is first grab your smartphone and you're gonna wanna download the free Disney Collects app by Tops. If you've ever been into collectible sports cards, or to be honest, any type of collectible card, you probably are very familiar with the name Topps. These were the original blind bag collectible. I remember saving up my allowance to buy a pack of hockey cards or baseball cards, hoping to find one of my favorite players. Topps has been releasing physical cards for decades, and then starting in 2012, they joined the digital age by releasing apps for your smartphone that allowed fans to collect digital baseball cards. This was then followed by separate apps for other sports like hockey and soccer, and then they entered the entertainment genre with Star Wars, Marvel, and Disney versions as well. Once you have the app installed and your account all set up, you will find yourself with this home screen. As with physical collectible cards, the idea here is to start buying packs of cards and then get them into your collection working towards completing various theme sets. You do earn free coins throughout the day as well as free magical gifts that can include cards from many different available sets. Let's head to the store and you can see all the different currently available packs of cards that you can collect. Click on one and you will get some additional information on that set, including the countdown to when it will expire and those cards will no longer be available. Scroll down and you will find the different pack options that are available for purchase and it will list how many cards you get in each pack as well as the odds of getting rare or unique card variations. There are more expensive options as you scroll down further that get you better odds of acquiring those very special cards. Just be aware that as with many other apps, you can spend your actual money to help buy more coins which will speed up your process in completing some of your sets if you so choose, but that can add up if you aren't careful. You can view your collection at any time, even if the set expires, you do not lose those cards that you have already collected. This just means that those packs of cards can no longer be purchased through the store. So how do you fill in those missing cards from a set you really want? Well, just like we used to do on the school playground, you can trade with your friends or even other players that are using the app. There are so many other ways within this app that you can earn or upgrade your collection, but I'll leave that up to you to explore a bit more on your own. Now, let me show you something I recently found while working on my digital Disney collection. I was in the shop checking out some new sets that were recently made available and noticed this one with Steamboat Mickey on it. Now I'm a sucker for any classic Mickey design and immediately started working on collecting this set. In my haste to start buying up these packs, I completely overlooked the details of exactly what special cards were available. 
Then in one of my packs, I got a card that looked suspiciously familiar. I clicked on the info button for this card, and there at the bottom, my eyes were drawn to the group name, Chrome Pressed Penny. What? Suddenly, I had a new mission. The rest of the set was completely gone from my mind. Instead, I had to do whatever I could to get all these digital Pressed Penny cards. Well, it took a while, but I eventually was able to grab the entire set and look at these. They are so cool. It's a bit hard to see here in the video, but they even shimmer a little bit when you move your phone around. I had so much fun working and getting this entire set, and once it was done, I wondered if there were any other available Press Penny sets, maybe with different themes in the app. To my surprise, I actually found quite a few other sets of digital press pennies that were available, and they had themes ranging from classic Pixar characters to villains, and even more recently, a special holiday set. Not only did I find other press penny sets, but I also found what looks very similar to collectible medallions that were released to celebrate the 100th anniversary of Disney the company. One thing I did want to go over in these sets is that one of the pennies is only available if you're able to collect the entire set of designs. Here towards the bottom you can see each of the designs available in this set and there's a check mark beside the ones you have in your collection. Or if you click on it for a larger view of the coin it will also show you in the top how many of each design you own. All the way at the top you will notice a rewards box with two items shown inside. These are only awarded to you if you're able to collect all of the coin designs before the set expires and retires. After that, the only way to get them is by trying to trade with other players, and in my personal experience, people seem very protective of trading away their press pennies. So, what do you think of this first form of digital press penny collecting? I do hope this is not the final direction for where our beloved hobby is headed, but to be honest, if the price to press a penny continues to increase, this may end up being a much more cost-effective way for many people to continue with their collections. I do think the app is still a fun and unique way for many people to continue collecting pressed pennies, but maybe they're just stuck inside and unable to travel. Now, in case any of you are wondering, none of the designs that I've come across so far in the app have been the same as any of the ones from Disneyland or the Walt Disney World theme parks. The ones created for the theme parks are designed by a third-party vendor and then approved by Disney, and I'm pretty sure they don't want to share any of their designs with Tops. Now, are any of you interested in this app and are going to start collecting digital press pennies? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear all about it. Enjoy the rest of your week, and as always, keep on pressing. Digitally?